are. And again, remember, what's, what's, let's just write it up there. What's the field again? Filter. filter. It's a filter. filter. A filter, a way to filter is not going to work hard enough. It's a filter to spit people back out to people that are going to work and they're gonna make, make less than six figures, which is a big part of the population in the US, the majority. I think it's, I think it's 75%. Only 25% of Americans actually make six figures or more. So the field is a total filter for that. And what I appreciate is from the field is that it's a quick filter. Some of us look at college like a filter and you go through college to get a degree because you told yourself you want this diploma and your family might be telling you that's what you need to qualify for a job. And it's a total lie when you ask the job or the hiring department. But we've been taught that because we are hearing people that grew up in the 80s, or the, our parents, or you know, uncle, whoever's influencing your grandparents. If you, damn it, your grandparents might be telling you the same thing. So the field is just a filter. What I appreciate it as a pretty quick filter. Like you don't have to spend four years here to find out. Like in the first two weeks, we're gonna see it. And then you're gonna get to leadership like Genesis. And then we're gonna really, really see it the two weeks after that. It's when you get a little bit of, woo, you see Genesis, does she look sharp? Yeah. Yeah. Sharp. Yeah. She looks like Leo. Hey, in what company do you see somebody receive a promotion with a pay raise within one week and a half of being there? Mm -hmm. Doesn't it sound a little crazy? It is, but it's actually, she's earned it. She's worked hard. She's worked hard. So filter. Does that make sense? The field is a filter. Remember, it's not meant to be easy for you. It's not meant to, uh, you know, walk around and making 400 bucks a day like some of you guys did yesterday. It's meant to filter people out. It's actually not a negative. Does anybody know here, anybody that went to medical school? Okay. Keep your hand up if, if that person you're thinking is. Uh, keep your hands up, please. Oh, that's De keep your hands up if all the people you're thinking of made it through med school that are now doctors. Okay, some hands went down. So what does that mean? All the hands that went down, there's people that started med school, correct? Mm -hmm. who, who put their hand down? Somebody speak up. Uh, Zori, did that person finish med school? No. Did they get the money back on all the loans they spent? <laughs> no. So med school was that a, was that not a filter to be a doctor? Yeah. You have to go to med school. If you don't finish it, you're not a doctor. <laughs> right? Would you agree? Oh, but what if it's your passion? You're still not a doctor. Right? <laughs> Passion's fine, but you know, I ain't doing my surgery. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Love the passion, buddy. But Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Should we let people because of their passion, maybe? So there's a... Do you, do you see the point? There's, there's something about work and passion... You know, some people are like, well, it's just not my passion. It's like, nobody expects it to be your passion. It's do you have the discipline to go through something that you un you dislike to get the desired outcome? So the first thing that is a hack is always you have to think about the outcome instead of the process. And I want you guys thinking about that. Ryan was telling me, you know, all it takes is for me to go in the field with somebody that's entry level. Where are you at, Ryan? Ryan's going to be a dog right there. He's an animal. He was telling me like, man, the eight steps. I was networking, by the way. Raise your hand if you went to speed networking yesterday. Thank you guys for playing a part in the bigger team. And, and you count, Trey. You were there. You just, you, hey, Trey had his daughter, so we count. But hey, if you were there, that genuinely thank you for taking the time to, to come out. Uh, there, even Kiana, people on their first day came out. That's awesome. Yeah. I was talking to Ryan, and I realized, man, the field, he's like the eight. He gets it. He's like the eight steps. It's something you can apply for life. Not everybody looks at it like that, but he's like, he's like, dude, like you gotta really remember why you're here, because if not, you don't last five minutes in the field. <laughs> so hey, right. what's the outcome versus the process? The point is, you're gonna be in the field and you're gonna lose a little bit of focus. You're gonna lose focus. So you gotta, you're not just gonna push for nothing. You gotta remember why you're here. Is it Athena's or is it, um, you know, Go brought his his daughter yesterday. I realized, I'm like, you know, Go is so much more of a bigger person that that. That, that I remember when I see him in the morning because he's fighting for something so much bigger so that he doesn't care about the process. So I just want to challenge you guys to think about this in the field. Am I too worried about the process or the outcome? Do you genuinely want the results of what this creates or do you want it to look good in the meantime? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like, if I paid you a million dollars to pick up horse shit from a farm 40 hours a week, but you made a million dollars, would you do it? Yeah. yeah, I would do it. I would I'll do it. it. I'll, I'll put some dog plugs thing on. I'm bringing everything I need. I'm going to dress up. Just scoop it up and Give me a shovel. I I I I be having a clean shovel. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
it will be clean after each scoop. <laughs> and listen, some of you guys might not. Well, I don't want a million dollars. I think you would if you were like, ah, I wouldn't do it. Uh, you know, I think for one year to make a million bucks, 40 hours a week, you know, 40 hours a week, they say that's full time, but that's less than 40% of the total time available in the week. So, hey, would you work 40% of your time to make for a million money. bucks? Yes. Yes. If you have to pick up horse crap or pig crap, or if you had to do a job you didn't like, hey, you might go to the job and have a bad attitude. It is a different skill to go show up and have a good attitude about it. A whole nother level right there. That should probably be two million or 10. <laughs> but but would you do it? And I remember yesterday I was in the field and I was, I was getting nagged out. You know what I mean? Like you might think I'm special or something. I went in the field and I was getting pissed. And Tommy just left, but I was in the field, I was like, this is not gonna work. Nobody wants a fucking toilet. <laughs> <laughs> if they're broke, why would they want a free quote? They're broke, so they're, what would you, would you get a free quote on something you're never gonna use? All these thoughts are going through my mind, and, 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 and what I just need you guys to remember is negatives fill in the gap. So what do I have to do? Keep up. Avoid the gap. I was going 20 minutes without a talk to, so I know you're going through that too. <coughs> and then I start, I, and I remember I was catching myself my first lap, I was like walking, I was not running. And then I realized on my second lap, I'm like, we gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run. It's not because I need to run quicker to the next door, it's because I need to avoid the, 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 the time gap. with nothing. Yeah. You know, I realized on my first lap what happened to my phone? My, da my battery died. That's, that's a clear example right there, you know, you're not doing what you're supposed to do. You're playing the wrong side of the filter. You're looking at your phone. You can look at your phone, you can post uh, something. The problem with, with it is when there's a gap, automatically negatives fill in. Not positives. This happens in communication in general. So it happens in your brain. Our brains are designed for that. So just think about it like this. Anybody in a relationship here? Raise your hand if you're in a relationship. Married or not married, doesn't matter, there's no relationship. Hey, if you all of a sudden, do you talk to your partner daily? Yes. yes. If you all of a sudden went quiet, not answered the phone for three days. It would be a problem. What, <laughs> besides the jokes, what, what, would, negatives, would negatives come up? Yes. Oh, yeah. positives? Oh, yes. Posit no, no positives. Negatives, remember, no positives. It, it doesn't mean you did anything wrong. You might have just lost your phone and had to go out of town, and it's totally fine. But, but hey, negatives, the point is negatives fill in the gap. This is, I'm teaching you the field hack. Negatives fill in the gap. You just have to avoid the gap. And how do I avoid the gap? The way you avoid the gap, how, who knows? You keep moving. Activity. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just got to have activity. That's why we push you to run. I don't want you to run. You can do it walking, do it walking. I don't care. Just negatives fill in the gap. The only way I know how to, how to stop overthinking or stop thinking about my personal problems at home or you might go, be going through something tough, depression. Like, but guess what? Do, do we have a license to not pay our bills when we go through depression? No. No. So unfortunately, we have to find a way, a hack around it. I was working at Whataburger and I realized I'm depressed or not, I can't tell my manager I'm not putting the fucking french fries on the fryer. <laughs> I gotta put the french fries on the fryer. He doesn't care. You work for Walmart, you gotta stock the noodles. Oh, well, but, but you, don't, you don't know what I'm going through with my girlfriend and home and, and, and I had a late in my car. Stock the noodles, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Would you agree? Yeah. Like, the manager's like, I care for your car's problems, but I... I know you need money. So, stop the noodles while you're depressed. <laughs> Does that make sense? This yeah. is how corporate the world works. Anyway, so I realized it's activity. And I realized I started running, and it was running for me was a defense mechanism against my attitude loss. I was the owner, I was, I, I'm an RC in the field, I was losing my attitude. Every time I would go more than five minutes without a talk to, I was losing my attitude. So I know you're losing it too. The point is not to not lose it. You're going to lose it. The point is acknowledging that it's not the pitch. Most of us lose it and we blame the pitch or the territory because that's the easy way out. Oh, this is not working. Or you analyze something so, so, so specific in a big way. I realized I did that too yesterday. I'm like, that talk to, if I would have said three, four, five more times, they would have got it. No, the point being is I only got five talk to, so you can't judge it. You might get 40 talk to's and only get three yeses at the end of the day. 
and those three yeses might be between 7.30 and 8 p.m. Your five talk to's doesn't mean anything. Don't stop to think about it. That's negative filling in. That means if you're thinking about that talk to, you're not what? There's no activity. And I promise you, I guarantee you, if you watch Genesis work, she's probably been running. And she's not that her attitude is better than Don's or Gabriel's. It's her attitude is she recovers it quickly because she gives herself less time, bro. That's what it is. If you do this long enough, you graduate the field, you move through the training program. So what I what I had to learn yesterday, and this is the last one, is believe in Santa. <laughs> you have to believe in Santa Claus. I was telling Tommy, like, first I was like, nobody had a sale. Alejandro had a sale, but he got help from uh, the guy that was training us. So there was no sales on the board. And I was like, I was going through, I'm, I'm going through okay, the next door. I'm like, shit, no solicit. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Like, this is not gonna work. I'm just gonna go slow water. And I'm going through all these thoughts in my head. I'm go because water works, doesn't it? We did all this work two years ago. Go sail water. Yeah. But yesterday I'm going through the thing and I'm like, Tommy. And I'm here with Tommy, you know what I mean? Like I gotta be a good example too. And and I'm like and then I just switched my mind and I'm like, let me start jogging a little bit and stop thinking about what didn't happen and what could. And dude, I remember, it's almost like you play yourself delusional, but here's, here's what I want you to try today. Just try this today. Every single one of you can do this. I want you to go to each door thinking it's gonna be a sale. I told myself, I'm, this is the, what to say when you talk to yourself, Bo? Hey, how do you do the control your, your positive self-talk? Just go to every door. And realistically, it's not gonna be like that. That doesn't mean you don't believe in Santa Claus. You went from being a kid and believing in Santa Claus so then not believing in it, but now you're an adult, so now you believe in it for your kids. So you believe in Santa Claus. And I was in the field and I was like, I'm like, Tommy, it was 7.30, we had one each. And I'm like, and it has been like an hour without us getting a sale. I'm like, bro, we're gonna get one. And we kept getting stupid people that didn't want free things because you get people that just don't want free things. Like in Frontier, do you get people that don't switch, but you can yeah. give them a lower bill with a higher speed? Yes. Yeah. And they know it. They know in it. In water, do you, do you get people that are genuinely yes. carrying these cases yes. and like they could get it? So yes. You can actually genuinely help them as a helping person yes. besides the price and, and they still don't get it? Yes. yes. So yes. do we agree there are idiots everywhere? Yes. yes. Okay, so once we know that, now let's accept that. And I was just, dude, I was like, Tommy, we're gonna get one, bro. We got the cut. It was a straight cut at 8 p.m. 8:15, cut. There's the call center don't work, so we can't sell anything after 8:15. So I was like, dude, we got a timer. I'm like, we're gonna get one more, bro. We're gonna get one more. We're gonna get one more. And I'm knocking the door. No, no. I'm like, it's it's this one. It's this door. I'm telling Tommy, that's a sale. I promise you, it's a sale. Knock. He he talks to the person. The person talks to the wife. The wife says no. I'm like, you try try reminding them both that it's free. He goes back to the door to see if we no. I'm like, dude, it's the next one. It's the next one. No soliciting door. Lady comes out. It's a yes for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right? Hey, hey. I'm, and I'm telling myself, and I noticed that that's why I got to, to be an owner. It's because I had the, just the discipline, and then you guys can all do this too. I had the discipline to say, it's the next one. I was not naive. When they said no, I wouldn't get butt hurt. They said no, I'm like, well, it's okay. Yeah, it's just not meant to happen, but it's the next one. It's the next one. I want you to go to everyone today. Dude, it's the next one. And play that game in your ear. And when it's not, it's okay. But it's the next one. And it's always the next one. And it's always the next one. To the point that you like say it to yourself, but you're okay expecting when they say no. And almost you get, anybody ever had this feeling like they, the customer said yes and you got a little like surprised inside? Like, oh, uh -huh. shit. Yeah. 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 That's, when, yeah. hey, that's when you're doing well. Yeah. That's when you're doing well because you're you're just working hard, you're doing your thing, so you don't expect it. You know it'll happen. So when it happens, you're like, oh shit, oh, cool. <laughs> then no, it's no rebuttal. You just now I'm like, I'm taking my break here, right? And it's gonna be five minutes at least. You just go right? all the way through the pitch. Some of you guys that get told movie, I'm like, dude, stop getting inside people's homes and eating lunch and sitting down Amen. for a nap. I'm like, I want the water. <laughs> yeah. Besides the point, believe in Santa. I went to every door, I'm like, it's the next one coming. And, and even when we were being negative, or I was, he was, but I was being negative, and I was like, ah, nah, nah. and but I knew I'm like one sale will change it all because it's a new program. We've never done it. We don't know if it's gonna work. Yeah. But when we made, I made the sale. This lady, Miss Rosemary. Rosemary, Rosemary, I did the pitch. Rosemary. I did the pitch. Rosemary. Body language is key because when you do body language and you use silence, the customer finishes the pitch for you. Like, hey, most neighbors here, they said that their windows, they're not necessarily working or lifting the whole way. And the, and the lady was like, 
Yeah, mine does that. And in my head, I'm like, done. Yeah. Yeah. Window. <laughs> Point being is, when I, I noticed, I said free quote, guess what? It was an easy sale. You guys ever do hard sales? That's probably not a sale meant to be. Just focus on the ones that are like, cool. That you don't feel pressured to finish the pitch because it's going well. Focus on those people. If it's not those people, drop him. Drop him, protect your attitude, go to the next one, believe in Santa, it's the next one. It's the next one. You want somebody that's like, dude, I'm tired of Instacart. I'm tired of Instacart, so I'm getting the water delivered through you. Or you want somebody that's like, dude, I actually, I actually opened my bill last week about the fucking internet and I didn't know it was that high. You guys, do you get those people? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dude, I, I actually went to the mail and I saw it, I was like, damn. 150 bucks, I don't know what I'm paying for, it still goes slow. I've been waiting on you. I've been waiting on you. Find <laughs> those people, believe in Santa, they're out there. And I found this lady and then belief was through the roof and I typed the whole pitch. I'm like, guys, I got the pitch, that's it. <laughs> that's it, John, you're gonna cry. Now, John got one, then uh, uh, Ryan got one, Alejandro got a second one, Tommy got two. And then still, we went through the whole hour with nothing and I'm like, it's the next one, it's the next one, it's the next one. And right at 8 p.m., this lady's like, we already signed up. We're gonna get windows. They're coming to measure tomorrow from this other company. And Tommy's like, well, well would you not want to have two quotes since it's free? Would you not want to have two quotes? And the, the husband's like, dude, I'm in sales. Like, no. And Tommy's like, listen, 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 genuinely. We don't get paid, uh, 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 like, we're not gonna sell you. It's a free quote. What if it's cheaper? I think it would be, but listen, how about you just have it? It's, it's not gonna take long, it's just, and the, the, the lady was like, you know what? I'll definitely use another quote because I didn't like the other company, blah, blah. Boom. Boom. And it was eight o'clock, it was on the dot, and me and Tommy had been for an hour walking saying, it's this one, bro. I would look at him like, bro, that's, that's the sale. That's the one, that's the next one. And, and we'll get the normal, like, internally you're like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one, that's what, but that's eight. That is being an owner. It's not the pitch. I promise you, it's not the pitch. It's, it's you believing, you training your, your new guy entry level to be faithful that this thing, it does work. You think we would be put in a territory to sell something where nobody makes any money, neither you or us or the client? No, so it does work, but I promise you, I was in the field and it was those 20 minutes, here's the devil, it was those 20 minutes of between talk to's where nobody's watching you, it's hot, and you're like, damn. And then negatives fill in, and it's that way you gotta be like, it's the next one, I'm gonna get one. You should all be thinking today, I'm getting my first one in before three. I'm getting one before three because I'm, I'm, I'm gonna find it. This one's a yes, this one's a yes. And you ever have somebody that comes out of the door and directly just comes out and it's like, hey, how is it? What, what, what you doing? Yeah. Yes. You ever say, hey, put in your mind that you're gonna find that person, Tavon, today before three. You're gonna find it. You're gonna find her or him. Or them. You're gonna find them and you're gonna, and you're gonna go. Believe in Santa Claus and I realized I've been, I've sold stuff in Sam's Club at Walmart before the pandemic. I sold hair straighteners, skincare, freaking dryer balls, dude. A lot of stuff, water door to door, a water inside of Costco. I've sold um, aromatherapy packs that you microwave and they smell like herbs inside the store. And it was all, that was me going through the field. I've sold Texas Rangers tickets for a, for a game that People don't want to show up. It's 150 degrees in that old, older stadium. That's why we had to sell tickets because who wants to be in August or in or in this middle of summer with no cover in the older stadium? Nobody wanted to go to the fucking game. People want to watch it from home. Hot packs? We're, we're selling hot packs in El Paso. Where 80% of people speak uh, uh, Spanish and they're selling two white kids uh, <laughs> that don't speak damn Spanish to sell stuff in El Paso. Dude, we've sold it all. And you know what I noticed is these are the common negatives, whether you're selling Frontier Home Improvement or we're not even selling anything on Home Improvement, is the person that gets the leadership, they believe in Santa Claus, they know. They're going to the field today, I'm gonna have a good day, I'm gonna try my best, and it's always the next door, and it's always the next door, it's always the next door. And they're contagion that to the group, and they're contagion that, and they're not letting negatives fill in because they're taking activity, and next, and next, and next. And when they stress a little bit, they're like, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be fine because the next door could change it all. The next door could give me a referral. The next, it's, just gonna, it's just the next door. And then you end up normally, most of the times, having a great day. But you have to convince yourself and it's, it's how what you talk to yourself. And I want you to practice this today. It's the next one. It's the next one. And if you're working with somebody, it's like, hey, Dijon, it's the next one, bro. The next one, you're getting it. Somebody's gonna come out nice and just be an easy sale because they're just gonna like you. It's the next one. Who would not get a free quote? Who would not get water delivered? Who would not get a $300 machine for three bucks? Who would not get a, a, a cheaper internet bill? Nobody doesn't have internet these days. It's 
it's believe in Santa, believe in Santa, and I just want you guys to understand that it's the same for building a team. It's the same to when you run when you run three orientations and you're a new assistant manager. Here's how you know you're an assistant manager. You run an orientation, and the next day nobody shows up because you don't even know what you said. It's a part of the training that you're learning. You're learning. You're learning, but you just the next one's gonna be fine. The next one's gonna be fine. The next one's gonna be fine. And all of a sudden, you're making whatever six thousand dollars in a week and and you're still thinking the same thing the next one's gonna be fine the next one's gonna be fine and that's what i want you guys to practice you guys think you can use it yeah so back at 12 35 for break one two three